Next up, Germany's leader Angela Merkel congratulating President-elect Trump with caveats, saying, quote, Germany and America are bound by common values, democracy, freedom, respect for the rule of law, the dignity of each and every person, regardless of their origin, skin color, creed, gender, sexual orientation, or political views. We also have this breaking news. Listen to this. Terrorists who attacked Paris in November of last year, remember that? We have a terrorist, Salah Abdeslam. He was connected to that attack. And he's just admitting to authorities in Europe that he, yes, he did help at least 10 Islamic State fighters, ISIS fighters, enter into Belgium as, quote, refugees through the Balkan Channel. All 10 coordinated attacks that hit both Paris and later Brussels, leaving 215 people dead and wounding hundreds more. One of 88 generals supporting Trump, Lieutenant, uh, uh, supporting Trump he's Lieutenant General Thomas McInerney. He joins me now. General, what are your thoughts on Angela Merkel's comments in light of the breaking news about the jihadis admitting that, yes, there are 10 of them now that were behind the attacks in Europe? I'm embarrassed for her, Liz. Uh, that is unbelievable. She must just read the New York Times and doesn't understand what's going on in America and why the American people soundly gave Trump a victory. And that's because of the pathetic economy we've had for the last eight years, 1.1% average growth, the lowest, lowest of any president in our history. He never recognized radical Islam for what it is. He didn't take care of our vets. We have 22 suicides a day in the United States. And there are a litany of other things, job market, our growth, we're talking together, and 93 million Americans that are not full-time employed. And so that's why America sent a clear signal that they want to change, and I strongly object to Angela Merkel telling us how to run our country when she can't even run her own. You know, General, um, we have had protests breaking out across the country. The third night of protests expected tonight and through the weekend. Um, it seems missing in the coverage is the fear on the part of voters of renewed terror attacks in the United States. You know, there were a dozen during President Obama's two terms. And voters did say in the exit polls, yes, they are concerned about security. What are your thoughts? Well, I'm concerned about it, too. What has the president said about those people rioting and protesting? They lost. Where is the leadership from our president? It's just like uh, Black Lives Matter, the problems that he created there, he and his buddy George Soros. This is coming out of and being instigated by this White House. We never had these kind of problems before. And so I think uh, it's, it's time that this president stand up and take charge. He hasn't for the last eight years. So you think uh, President Obama should make a statement and say, protesters, stop. You're destroying property. It was a fair election. Donald Trump won. Donald Trump deserves a shot at running the country. Let him do it. What do you think? Spot on. I'd use those exact words, Liz. And where is his leadership? It isn't there. And so that's what's so disturbing that he's just watching it fester, just like he did in the Black Lives Matters and all these other issues, uh, the Wall Street problem crowd that was hanging out. This has really come out of this White House and through George Soros. The left wing of the United States is doing this deliberately, and our president is not saying anything about it. General, I'd, I'd love your thoughts on this next topic. We're looking through the exit polls and the election data, and it stands out to us that veterans voted two to one for Donald Trump. Let's take a listen. We will also finally take care of our great veterans who've been so loyal, and I've gotten to know so many over this 18-month journey. General, veterans really coming out to support Donald Trump in places like Wisconsin, Ohio, Pennsylvania, even Florida. What is your reaction? Well, I'm not surprised. Uh, they said it was a two-to-one ratio. I would have thought it had been ten-to-one or even higher. The fact is, is uh, this president has not, in this administration, has not taken care of the vets. I mentioned previously 22 suicides a day. And the treatment that they're getting in the vet centers has been deplorable. And I really think that, uh, and the, you see, we've unilaterally disarmed our military. We're in very deep trouble globally, our position. You look at the Middle East, it's never been so bad, Liz. And so all those things coupled to, I would have thought our vets would have been yes. far more aggressive 
in supporting the president. But it's, two to one is still a very good is. number. And they're saying peace through strength. Strengthen our military. General, we're so thrilled you were able to join us today, Veterans Day. I want to thank you and all of your fellow soldiers for your service to our country. You know what? I just want to say this, General. We really appreciate you. Without your protection and the protection of our good men and women in the armed forces for our basic freedoms, we would not be able to have democratic elections like the one that took place this week. Today, the country is reminded of our priorities and the shared bond we have as Americans. From all of us here Great. at Fox, thank we you. thank you.